Lesson 1, Mother's Day. Do you like this new dress I bought? It looks a little too big for you. I bought it for my mother. Is it for her birthday? No, it's a present for Mother's Day. Is it that time of year already? Yes, Mother's Day is next week. I have to hurry and find a gift for my mother. I'm sure it will be easy. I hope it won't be difficult. By the way, you never told me what you thought of the dress. It's beautiful. I am sure your mother will love it. Lesson 2, Father's Day I don't know what to give my dad for Father's Day. Why don't you give him a card? I already bought a card, but I want to give him a present, too. What does your father like to do? He likes to cook. Maybe you can give him a chef's hat. Be serious. That gift is not practical. What other sorts of things does he like? He likes carpentry. What about getting him a new carving set? That sounds like a good idea. Let's look for one online. Lesson 3. Brotherly Love I told you not to go into my room. I was just looking for a pencil. You're always making up excuses. My explanations are not excuses. You just want to snoop around my room. I don't want to be in your smelly room. Then stop going into it. Then help me find the things I need. Fine. From now on, ask me for anything you need. You promise not to get angry with me? Only if you promise not to annoy me. Deal. Can I please have a pencil now? Lesson 4. Mother and Son Son, come here, please. What is it, Mother? Did you touch the frosting after I told you not to? No, I didn't touch the frosting. Then tell me, why is it all over your face? I ate some, but I didn't touch it. You should not tell lies. I am not lying. My hands did not go near the frosting. Then how did you eat it? I used a spoon, so I didn't touch it. I didn't disobey you. You knew what I meant. No dessert for you tonight. That's all right. I've already had some frosting. Lesson 5. Family Photo can Spotty be in the family picture, too? No, he cannot. Dogs are pets, not family. Spotty is older than I am. That still doesn't make him a human. Sometimes it seems like he can talk. I said no, so the answer is no. What if we put a hat on him? Why would you want to do that? Then he'll look just like my little brother. You're really attached to him, aren't you? Yes, he's like part of the family, too. All right, he may be in the photo, but no hat. Lesson 6, My Shark Sister I'm tired of living with my sister. I don't like living with mine, either. There should be a place to send annoying siblings. What kind of place? I don't know. Maybe the zoo. My sister is too wild to live in a zoo. I think she'd scare all the animals. Yeah, and eat all of their food. What about the aquarium? I guess the shark tank would be a good place. 
It's too bad that humans can't breathe underwater. What a shame. It was the perfect plan. Lesson 7. Watch your brother. We have to babysit this afternoon. Why can't we ever go out with mom and dad? They say they need time away from children. We're not children anymore. I guess that's why we have to watch the baby. What do you want to do first? We can play some video games. Do you want to have ice cream for dinner? That sounds good to me. Oops! I spilled chocolate on the carpet! We'll say the baby did it. Maybe babysitting isn't so bad. Lesson 8. Having a brother. Is that boy you walk home with your brother? No, he's my neighbor. Does he go to your house often? We hang out there almost every day. Your parents don't mind that? Of course not. They've known him since we were children. He might as well be your brother. I prefer having close friends to having a brother. What's wrong with having a brother? Brothers always fight over things they don't want to share. Are you afraid he'd take your things? No, I'm afraid he'd take my girlfriend. Lesson 9. Family Reunions Do you want to come to my house tomorrow? My mother says I'm not allowed to go out this week. Why are you not allowed to go out? We are having a family reunion. Your whole extended family is staying over your house? Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing my cousins. Are they fun to play with? Yes, last year we played a trick on my grandpa. What did you do? We replaced his denture glue with toothpaste. I don't think that's very funny. It was when his teeth fell into the mashed potatoes. Lesson 10. Snow Fight Why did you throw snow at your brother? It was a snowball fight. He said he didn't know you were playing. Well, he should have known once he felt the snowball. Does this have anything to do with the snowman? You mean the one he knocked down? That's exactly the one I mean. Maybe, but I just wanted to have a snowball fight. You should be nicer to your brother. He should be nicer to my snowmen. Go say you're sorry and play nicely. Only if he says he's sorry first. Lesson 11. An Afternoon Fishing Dad, why do you like fishing so much? Fishing is a good way to clear your mind. Is that because everything is so quiet? That it is exactly why. Don't you get bored just sitting and waiting? There is more to fishing than just sitting and waiting. What do you mean? To be a good fisherman, you have to read nature. The same way you read a book? Almost the same way. You'll learn in time. Is that what you like most about fishing? No, I like fishing together with you the most. Lesson 12. Sisterly Advice How do I get that boy to like me? Just be yourself and act naturally around him. I already do that, and I still don't have a boyfriend. You will. Once the right boy comes along. How do I know which boy is the right boy? You'll know because you'll fall in love. 
How do I know if I'm in love or not? All the love songs will make sense. The only one that makes sense now are the sad ones. Don't worry, just be patient and then you'll see. You really think so? Yes, good things come to those who wait. Lesson 13, New Webcams Computers are so amazing. I agree. I love the new webcams. Did you buy one recently? My laptop came with one. My mother loves it. Who does your mother use it to speak with? She calls my great aunt from out of state. I didn't know you had a great aunt. Neither did I. That webcam is bringing your family together. It really is. I cannot wait to meet her. I thought you already talked to her often. I do, but I will meet her in person next month. Lesson 14, Playing Outside Mother, may I go play outside? Have you cleaned your room yet? I promise I'll do it later. You said that yesterday. Go I... clean it now. I really mean it this time. I'll clean it later. All right. Go play for a bit. Before I go, may I have a cookie? You can have it later. But it's the last one. Someone else might Eat it. You can have it now if you go clean your room. I think I'd rather go out and play. Then I think I'll have the cookie for snack. Lesson 15, Weekend at Grandma's. I'm sorry, my grandma took away my phone. What did she do that for? She said it was too late to be talking on the phone. You said you'd call me at 9 p.m. That's the time she sent me to bed. How can anyone sleep so early? She said that was her usual bedtime. I guess old people need to sleep longer. Not really. She woke me up at 5 a.m. this morning. Wow, your grandma really loves sunlight. I'm so exhausted. Lesson 16, A Day at the Beach It's too cold to go swimming today. That's okay. We can make a sand castle. Dad forgot the buckets at home. We can explore the tide pools. Maybe we'll find some crabs. I think I'd like a seahorse better. We can put them in our aquarium. That's a great idea. How will we carry them without buckets? I forgot. We don't have any. What is there to do now? Wait until it's time to go home. Lesson 17. Be yourself. The girls at school don't want to be my friends. Why don't they want to be your friends? It's because I don't dress like they do. There is nothing wrong with the way you dress. They listen to different music. Music is pointless if you don't enjoy it. They curl their hair and eyelashes. Doing that every day damages your hair. Maybe if I do those things, I can be their friend. It won't be fun to do things you don't enjoy. Then who will be my friend? I'm your friend because I like you for who you are.